What you're looking at is the small, pretty yet very deadly redback spider, which is normally a resident in Australia. But what I'm hearing is this small deadly pest has made its way over to Japan, and they are struggling to control the populations of this spider. Anyway, here's a close study of a redback spider that I found in the steps leading into my home. Enjoy. Well, I've just come home, and this is a step leading into my home, and we've seen this fight. That's a redback spider. They are really dangerous where I live. It's got this giant beetle or something. What do you think that is? I've got my son here. He's right next to me looking at this. And, and there are snail shell. There's a snail there as well. Yeah. No snail coming to you. Dad wants to see the snail. We want to see the snail. We've got to look at the snail, guys. This is a snail. So they can leave the house to, um, to um, find somewhere to lab. And this is being shot on my iPhone of all things, a little lights on it, because I'm sort of in near darkness here. Um, wow, look at this spider doing what it does best. That that meal would last you, uh, I mean, it's springtime here, it would probably last you all the spring and the best part of summer, I dare say. It looks like that redback is wrapping a uh, web yeah. around this uh, critter's legs to try and disable it, but it's a fight to the bitter end, and I dare say... The Redback's going to have the final say in this one. I'd say that bug is uh, basically history. And the spider killing it. Yes, it'll probably go on for hours, this little struggle. Yeah, it'll take for all night. Yeah, the rule in Australia that, that I was brought up with was if it's black, it's basically dangerous. And that is certainly the case with this type of spider. Actually, just looking here, we've got a couple of snails. There's a snail sort of in there, and there's a snail up here, uh, watching the fight. They're poking um, the heads another way. It's funny with the um, the iPhone, I've actually got quite used to using it as a camera. In fact, I enjoy using it as a camera. It's a great little thing to have in your pocket um, to get some things and um, you know capture them on the moment. Wow, look at that spider. It's amazing the way it's going at this. I'm really close to it, so I, want to, uh, I don't want to get a nice little uh, surprise from this beast. Uh, the the fire's running and the, I'm killing it. Yeah. The running. Oh boy, a oh boy being um, killed by a spider, it wouldn't be a very nice thing at all, would it? I'm just trying to riddle off some slow motion of this. I'm not sure how much it's going to work. It's because uh, I'm basically in darkness. I'm relying on the light on the camera to illuminate this uh, miraculous scene. Dad. Yes. So when the father keep killing it, soon it will be dead. That's right. It's a struggle to the bitter end. Yeah. It's interesting. The spider goes off to the top there. And let's say during the day it hides away in a little hole there. It's doing something there with the web. Then it comes back for another bit of play with this bug. Let's say it's securing its web as the, the bug's done a bit of destruction to it in the struggle here. Is that biting going on there? Is that like spider bites? Soon it will be dead soon or not. The fire has to kill it all night, then it will be dead. Son and I have watched a couple of spider fights around the home. I've made yeah, some videos of some. Some I've put up on YouTube, others I haven't, but I think because this is a redback, it'll probably make the grade. Redbacks like warm areas. They like areas which are a bit untidy. They love getting under metal tins, under metal gas bottles and things. Oh yeah, it's not looking very good at all for that bug not good at all i'm sort of thinking this is uh right on the spider season it's um it's springtime in australia during winter time you tend not to see spiders around you really got to go hunt for them and know where they're going to be resting in winter time uh but in springtime man a oh man in a house has got spiders all around it on the outside webs everywhere but that's sort of normal if you weren't seeing that well it's just not spring and summer well the snails look excited don't they and there's another way to scale this. There's my son looking down in the corner of the step there at this spectacle. Dad, the fire is trying to rip the leg off. I'd say it's trying to rip the legs off and everything else that it can. Yeah. I'm actually surprised that, that that bug is still moving because I was always told that the old redbacks have got a pretty good venom in them and they, got, they can really um, do some damage. The one thing about them which they uh, don't have is because they're so tiny you got to be pretty unlucky to get a bite from them unless it's like in the uh, webbing between your fingers like you might put a glove on and there might be one of these inside your glove imagine that or you might be unlucky enough and there could be one in your shoe but 
normally what happens is your, your foot tends to crush them because they are very fragile little spiders but boy oh boy you get bitten by one and you're certainly going to know about it I'd say you know where that spider resides during the day is up in, in this mess up here like these spiders love a bit of mess and it could hide away in there and not be seen but it just waits at night for something to come along into its web and uh, once it feels a few vibrations it's a uh, good night brother just try and snap off some more slow motion I'm not sure how this is going to come out the spider's moving pretty quick the bug isn't it might look fantastic at 120 frames a second well the camera phone is right on the extremity of the web every now and then I touch it and the red back does a bolt for me it's not a very nice uh, feeling when I see it in the uh, screen here it looks larger than life just in front of the camera lens there I don't know how much longer it's going to struggle on for but it's it's history that bug is a great big massive meal for that red back and family wherever they are remembering this is shot on just an iPhone nothing fancy it's remarkable once you get used to what these can and can't do uh, watching a video with them I dare say the Samsung Samsung can do the same but I haven't got a Samsung I've only got Apple sorry Samsung do some more web, web reworking there amazing critters spiders when you see them doing their work well I better leave this uh, here we can all see what's going on I hope you enjoyed this video people always asking me oh Leo can you put up some spider videos well here's a spider video of a really nasty spider that I would normally uh, be very very cautious of well I am curious if anyone from Japan watched this video do you know about the problem of these redback spiders in your country in Australia there was a TV show that spoke about this and it explained that the spiders came from Australia to Japan via shipping containers. What surprised everyone is these spiders have been able to survive a much colder climate in Japan. The best way to combat these spiders is to keep everything neat and tidy especially if it's in a warm area. Don't keep your shoes outside your home because these spiders love to set up their homes inside cozy shoes. And one rule in Australia we have if you're playing in the garden is when you pick something up you look under it because these spiders love to nestle in underneath rocks and things and that's when they'll get you. The real tricky aspect to this spider is that it's so small they can be very hard to find. And so often when people are bitten by these spiders they never ever see the spider before the bite. About the only telltale giveaway of these small black spiders is the red colour on their backs. Let's just hope the Japanese authorities work out a way of eradicating this very dangerous pest. I'll say a special goodbye to my Japanese viewers. I know you're up there because the Google data tells me. And to everyone else, I'm also going to say this. Thanks for watching and bye for now. I just hope the Japanese people pull the shoes in from outside their home. Maybe I'll start a new trend.